it's Greg here to talk about Vim again. And uh, the topic of this one is going to be a technique that has enabled me to increase my focus a little bit more. Um, now, focus is something I talked about a while ago, probably in episode 12, I think. Um, and a related topic is color, which I think I talked about in number four. So I'm just going to briefly recap that so that we're all on the same page. And then I'm going to show you uh, what I've done recently with those two things. Um, so the, the basic idea of focus is that when I have multiple files open, I want the background color in Vim to change so that I can see which one is the one where I'm actually doing my work. Uh, and until recently, I couldn't necessarily apply that idea inside tmux. Um, so this is new. Uh, I can have multiple tmux panes, and you'll notice that as I move between them, the focus changes. Um, and I will show you how I've set that up. Um, but before I do that, it's necessary for me to show you how I control color in the first place. Um, so you may recall from one of those earlier episodes, four or so, um, that I have this command I can run to toggle my color scheme. Um, and so you can see there that running Dark Ocean changed the color. Um, and when I go back to tomorrow, it's going to take me back to the tomorrow scheme. Um, and what I'm going to do now is open the file where this Dark command is defined. Um, and I'll show you how I've got that tmux focus behavior happening. So that's in this colors file here. Um, and if we look here, we'll see where, what the magic is that's happening. Basically, uh, when this dark command runs, if I'm inside tmux, uh, then I'm going to look at the file where all the color codes are defined. And I'm going to get the background color. And I'm going to get the 18 color. The reason why I'm getting color 18 is it's the same color as I'm using in Vim to indicate lack of focus. And so once I've got those two colors, then I'm going to run these tmux commands to set the style of active and inactive windows um, to have those colors as their background. So it's that easy to get uh, focus working inside tmux. Oh, that's nice. Uh, on the Vim front, the change I've made is also, I think, in a color file. Um, it's just this little thing here. I've made it so that the end of buffer highlight group also uses color column. So basically what that means is this area down here at the end of the buffer is now the same color as the area over on the right here. Um, and the reason I did that is, whoops, once Tmux became capable of rendering these things uh, also unfocused, having a, a region at the bottom of the window that didn't look unfocused was much more distracting. Um, but now you'll notice when my focus is down here on the bottom right in a shell, literally the entire remainder of the area is all appears to be all unfocused. Um, and without that end of buffer link, this would appear focused as well, or at least it would have the same color as the focused group. Um, and so now really the only thing that doesn't look focused are these places where the line wraps. I haven't yet figured out how to make that not focused, but there's probably a way and you know, eventually I'll get to it. So that is all for now. Um, but thanks for watching and I hope you tune in again soon where I'll have more Vim tips for you. Thanks a lot.